Hello, dear friends, Hello, my lovely audiences, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, my dear fellow Californians, welcome back to the discussion of something of supreme importance to us. That is, we're facing something which is look, even looking strange. Prop 16, proposition number 16, is a California, Californian legislature effort to once again fall around with us. We've been fooling around for several times. We, it's time now to say no. We are saying no, no here, and a no here to the proposition number 16. With me are two wonderful individuals. They are Mary Barkey, and she is the uh, uh, President of the Orange County Board of Education, Board of Trustee, and Mark Ng, the Outreach Director of uh, Equal Rights for California. So both, Thank welcome you. back to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. I would recommend it at the end of the last segment that we want to use, apply certain examples. For example, we have a group of 100 at a college enrollment, right, among which there are, we know the known numbers, 12.5% being Asian, Probably. and a certain being black, and certain being white, and certain being Hispanic, and certain being others. What, what would be the result if we do it on merit basis, and what would be the result we're doing on the racial basis? Well, I'll take merit. So if people do something on a merit basis, you will have a lot of motivation. You know, people will, will strive to do their best because they know by doing their best, they'll, they'll achieve more. If you take away the merit part, I think it'll make people lazy. Why would they even work hard for what they want? You know, whether that being getting into college or getting a job, if they know it doesn't really matter, that it'll be decided on something other than merit. So I think if you take out the merit piece, it's very discouraging, it's very demotivating, and that's not what we want to do to our children. We want to motivate them to be the best people they can be. Oh, uh, you see. The uh, 1996-209 has already confirmed that we should do that and made it the law, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, this uh, for 24 years, we've had a laboratory. Mm -hmm. Basically, California has been a laboratory to prove um, how successful uh, um, giving that protection is to and making a merit based society. So we've had a lot of, uh, you know, success stories. Uh, you know, Joy Chen, who you'll see later, is a, a, a one of them. You know, these um, uh, this environment has created so people don't worry and be in Yvonne's situation where they're worrying, oh, do I fit in a certain box? and just focus on the task at hand and develop skills and rise up in society. I wrote an op-ed on, um, it's published in the uh, San Gabriel Valley Examiner, where I mentioned the Filipino community actually in, in Eastvale, for example. East, the city of Eastvale is mostly Filipinos and it has the highest per capita income in the entire Inland Empire. And that is because we have so many successful Filipino Americans in the medical field in that city. So it's amazing what um, it can do to uplift communities, and we actually have data and results to show for. I see, I see. In other words, there is no record of a failure of a 209 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. over the 20 years of experiment, right? Absolutely. So to some law that has no failure, that shows no failure during the time of two, two decades, though, why would people want, want it to be ripped off? I don't know. What do you think, Mary? You know, I think somebody else has an agenda, and I don't think the agenda is what's best for society and our children. I think so often we have our own agenda, whomever that would be, and not really partisan, but certain people have agendas, and I think what our agenda has to be is what is best for our children in the future society, because that's, that's what we, we have ahead of us. There must be something deeper than that, something deeper than the, than the agenda, because Obviously, this 209 has done nothing wrong during the past 20 years, 
21 years already. 24. 24 years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, when people are now trying to rip, rip it off, why, mm -hmm. right? There must be something. Do you have any trace of the motive or the political motive? I think that there are certain interest groups that are horribly misguided in their thinking. They think that um, in order to uh, achieve, first of all, the goal to achieve equality is one that I think is completely utopian and unrealistic. So none of us are ever going to be fully, fully equal or we're gonna micromanage every aspect of our lives. And a great example of that is North Korea. Everyone is uh, trying to achieve equality, but then no one has anything at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is, the, that is the sad realities of life. So now um, uh, a lot of the, you know, we are a capitalistic society for now, but we have uh, certain people in Sacramento or uh, legislators that wield their power by riling up uh, feelings of um, unworthiness, victimhood, and they are the ones that are pushing this agenda. So yes, there's, I think there's a lot of misguidedness and uh, the voters, um, you know, our goal here is to educate the voters mm -hmm. and give them viable options, give mm -hmm. them choices. Mm -hmm. You know, Mary here is a real um, advocate for uh, uh, choices all the way down to um, elementary school and middle mm -hmm. school. In fact, we're doing a rally on August 19th for the parent union. So maybe mm -hmm. you can share a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's really parents of, from everywhere, from all aspects of life, fighting for their children, fighting against the unions. We feel that the unions, in in most most occasions it's their own self-interest they don't care about the children and the families and we feel that families make the best decisions for their children and so this is a group to fight against a union as a collective parents from from everywhere from every nationality and whomever you are you can join the parent union and get out there and fight for your children and make sure that that people truly understand what we have at stake and and I think going back to to propositions and a lot of times people aren't educated they're voting for something because somebody else is so I think it's really important what you're doing here to educate the public because so often people vote for something by a title they don't understand. Looking at the status quo, are the general public educated of this whole story? No. No, I don't think so. And I think uh, the practical realities is people are looking at the ballot statements. They make their decisions if they even get to that point. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people, this is why I don't encourage um, people to push, one, one side pushes for the uninformed to vote, but there's consequences to the uninformed mm -hmm. voting en masse, which mm -hmm. is what we have now, um, just circling the bubble and not thinking about it. Um, but you know, if we could put attention to Proposition 16 and get it out to all the different communities to see just how damaging it is. One other thing is, can you imagine going rising up in life and people always looking at you and saying, oh, you only got in because of the color of your skin. Do you know how damaging that is? Mm -hmm. That is something that is uh, deeply, deeply offensive. Mm -hmm. So if we have a level playing field and actually have, you know, not only uh, have equality, we'll only, not only get the best of the best, but people will feel empowered versus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. feeling like they just got something because um, they happen to be the right color of the skin. What do you see the timeline versus what where we are now. We're now in mid part of August, mm -hmm. right? And then you were talking about early November. Yes. You have September, October left. Yes. We have three months so, at a time when um, I think- No, less than three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. less than three mm -hmm. at a time when we um, are all stuck at home for the mm -hmm. most part, a lot of us, mm -hmm. and that um, public school education is moving to a virtual space. So basically everyone's gonna be homeschooled. Mm -hmm. I think this is the issue du jour. I think everyone is, um, uh, can actually see, and, and we're auditing what the public schools are not doing for, for actual education. So now parents are at home and administering some of this and getting their kids on Zoom and all of that. And they're seeing exactly what time has been wasted when they're in school versus actual learning that takes place. I mean, Mary, you want to speak a little to that? 
about about, about the, the moving of uh, you know uh, classes to virtual, to virtual learning for well, this coming year. Well, actually, the the County Board of Education is suing the governor. Our lawsuit will be filed later this week mm -hmm. because we feel that it's really important for a lot of children to be in school. We want them to at least have that choice. That many children in Orange County in California, there's more harm to keeping them out of school than sending them to school. Mm -hmm. The, the children have been spared COVID. We've not had a child die in Orange County. And it's, it's really for a lot of kids, we, we know that child abuse is up. We know teenage suicide is up. There's so many things that go on. A lot of children depend on school for the nutrition. They come to school for breakfast and lunch. Oh, and when you have kids at home and then parents who can't work to provide food because they're home with their children, it's not a Obviously, good recipe. Obviously, uh, the quarantine or later mm -hmm. on the uh, the forbidden the social yeah. distances, the uh, uh, virtual schools and the home education, whatever, has blocked the message. Mm -hmm. So I think and parents, we're still facing it within the next two to three months. Mm -hmm. I think parents are actually for the first time really thinking about what education means. Mm -hmm. And that's why Prop 16 is so relevant. Mm -hmm. Because your ultimate goal, especially Asian families, they're working so hard both parents working both jobs so that their kids can get into college and then they look at this and go oh and then you're going to discriminate against me after i put in all this yeah, work because of, because your quota is yeah. mm -hmm. are it's gone yes. there's no more quota yeah. all right mm -hmm. okay my dear friends uh let's take a moment out i'm uh, very i feel very sad that mary has to leave us cuz uh, she is back to back between events but we did the, well, 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 the best we could so we'll take a moment out and we'll have Betty and Joy on to continue to talk. I believe everybody knows Betty and Joy. So we'll see you. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. We'll Thanks see for you having later. me. And uh, we'll take a moment and then we say hi to Betty and Joy.